Mr. Sternfels, if I could just start with you. Did I hear you say in your opening statement, I'm going to quote you now, we have the industry's most rigorous client selection policy? Did I get that right? We believe that to be true, Senator. Well, how is it then that you end up with so many clients who are state-owned Chinese corporations hostile to the United States? Uh, thank you, Senator. So the basis for my uh, answer was we've invested over $700 million over the last several years um, to put in place a rigorous client selection process that looks at a whole series of factors. Um, well, let's, let's talk about some of your clients. Like the China Communications Construction Company. This is a firm that is blacklisted by the United States government. This is a state-owned enterprise that is responsible for building artificial islands in the South China Sea probably in direct contravention of international law, certainly in direct contravention to United States security interests. You help them develop their five-year plan. Why is that a good idea? Senator, our work in China uh, overwhelmingly works with uh, multinational companies, including many of those being U.S. Uh, and private No, actually, companies. you've advised 22 of the 100 biggest state-owned companies in, in China. That's according to the New York Times. Let's talk about another one, the, the Chinese Ocean Shipping Company. That's a state-owned conglomerate that's played a key role in China's naval expansion. I'm quoting from NBC News here. And Beijing's bid to extend its global reach. This company has been given special status by the CCP and forms the core of China's defense industrial base. This company has provided logistical support to the Chinese Navy's escort operations in the Gulf of Aden. And experts say, I'm still quoting, it serves as the maritime logistical arm for the People's Liberation Army. You're advised them. How much money did you make on that contract? Uh, no, Senator. We're not advising them. Neither did you ever them. advise them? Historically, we advised on none of the topics that um, you had highlighted. You, you did advise the Chinese Ocean Shipping Company? Not on the topics you described, Senator. Why is it a good idea to advise them at all? They're a state-owned enterprise engaged in activity directly contrary to the security interests of this nation. And they're no longer a client of ours, sir. Why did you advise on 22 of the 100 biggest Chinese state-owned enterprises? That number I don't believe is accurate, it Senator. It doesn't have anything to do with money, does it? I don't believe that number is accurate, Senator. How much money do you make off the United States government? I don't know the size of our work with the U.S. I do. government, Senator. In 2021, you made more than $850 million in consulting work for the federal government with the Department of Defense as your top client. When you bid for those government contracts, did you disclose your work for these Chinese state-owned enterprises that were conducting activity adverse to our national security? Did you disclose it to the Department of Defense? Senator, we take uh, OCI incredibly seriously and have even gone beyond what is required around disclosures. So that's um, a yes? We take it incredibly seriously. We made all appropriate disclosure, Senator. Uh, I'm happy to come back to you on any, any details uh, specific to the work that we do on the Department of Defense. That's, that's not what, that is not what news reports have found and news agencies who've looked into this. In fact, to quote NBC News again, in bidding on contracts with the Department of Defense, the U.S. Navy, Customs and Border Protection, you did not disclose your work with Chinese enterprises in apparent conflict of interest. A report in 2021 showed, December 2021, that you admitted to providing services only for provincial and local governments in China, but not for the central government in China. My question is, why should you be able to get any contracts in the United States government? If you're going to advise foreign nations who are hostile to us and make gobs of money off of them. Why should you be getting U.S. government contracts? Senator, we've never worked with the Chinese Communist Party or the central government in China, to the best of my knowledge. You're working with state-owned enterprises. This is, this is, China's not a democracy. They own these companies. These companies are doing the bidding of the Chinese military, and you're making money off of it, hand over fist. My question is, I guess if you want to do that, I, I guess it doesn't violate the law, but I just wonder, why is it that you should then be able to turn around and make $850 million in one year alone off the American taxpayer? I mean, explain that to me. Senator, um, our work with the federal government, uh, we stand behind. Uh, we bring... Well, I'm sure you do. It's incredibly lucrative. <laughs> That's the problem. You make gobs of money off of our enemies, and then you turn around and you make gobs of money off of us. It's outrageous, frankly. Listen, you shouldn't be doing any work with the Chinese Communist Party and any enterprise that they own or have, have some share in. You shouldn't. And if you were serious about ethics, you wouldn't be doing it. But it's particularly outrageous that you then make money, almost a billion dollars in a year, off the United States government, including the Defense Department. Now, I, am go I have introduced a law that would prohibit you from doing just this, and I will continue to push it until we get a vote on it.